welcome back welcome back welcome back it has been a minute it has been a consistent ashley here gonna have to change my name but i am back with a new video i did say that i wanted to document my lock journey so here i am today with this video to kind of give you an update on month two of me having my locks done real quick before i get into that though i checked my numbers and i am now at 200 and something subscribers so yay Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing, for clicking that button, for even tuning in and watching any of the videos that I've put up. You don't have to do it, but you did. So I'm very thankful for that. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Be like these others. Click on that subscribe button, like button, share, just to kind of get me to, you know, be more, I guess, uh, presented on this platform so people can kind of find out who I am. Um, it would help if I make more videos, but we're not talking about that right now. We are now talking about my hair. Yes, your girl has been locked for about two and a half months now. I started the first week of January. I don't really remember what exact date I started, but I did get my hair locked in January. And I have a video, I'll link it here, here, somewhere for you to go and watch that. That was a very cool experience for me. And I'm right on into it, my experience thus far. So first things first, um, this is this is like a couple of days into a retwist. Got my hair done on Wednesday this week. It's now Saturday and this is how my hair is looking. Um, if you watched my last video, even if you didn't, I did kind of change up the sizing in my locks. Um, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But yeah, this is what I look like one the, like the first week. I, I haven't been doing this long enough to truly, truly know, but I really think I prefer like second week retwist. And I think I was like that with my, my loose natural. I always kind of preferred my hair after doing a style maybe a few days later just because it kind of loosened up a little bit. Um, as you know, or you may not know, um, with locks in the beginning, starter locks are usually skinnier. And I just, I, you know, they're all skinny. I have a lot of them. I tried to count them with my husband since we did the reparting. And I think I, I think we counted around 136, I think. Could be wrong, but that is quite a bit of locks if you're not trying to get along the lines of micro or sister locks or traditional locks. I do think that's quite a few. Um, I think before I resized them, I was at maybe 108, so 20 or so added. Um, when I had the guy who was doing my hair before, we added that to my head. Uh, what's kind of going on right now with this hair is that I'm starting to notice it budding a little bit. They are doing their own little weird thing like some of them are like kind of curling back in to each other at the end and I have this bad habit of picking out my ends I know I probably shouldn't do that there will be like hair that um you can I can see at the ends like it'll be like a ball of hair and I don't know why I'm a picker like I pick I pick pimples I pick scabs I know it's so gross but I'm a picker I can't leave things alone and I will pick that out and I know I need to stop. I know some people, I think, do comb out their ends to keep their keep them curly, but I think in the beginning, that's something I should probably stop doing. I'm really trying to work on it, but I can't help myself. I'm a picker. I will pick those buds out, and it's probably delaying my locking process because that might be stopping or, you know, accumulating into the rest of the hair to form the matting that forms the lock. I'm working on it. It's a progress, so it's all a journey. I'm telling this. I have noticed, like I said, some buds. I have noticed that some of them in the back, I don't know if it's because I have a curlier texture, especially in the back of my head. The front of my head, not so much. My hair in the front is more um, just kinky. The back is where the curls are at. And I've noticed some of them are doing like this weird, like, I don't know if you can see it here, like zigzag, lightning bolt kind of thing. They're just doing their own thing. Now, I will talk to my lactician the next time I see her um, to know if maybe I should be trying to straighten that out, if I should be picking at it, I don't know. If you have locks or have experience with locks and you're watching this video, you know, comment down below some tips that I should be doing in the beginning to kind of maintain my hair, to let it flourish, to let it grow, just let me know should I not be picking at it, let her just do her thing, let them just do their thing and just form, I don't know. Um, 
one thing I am trying to like get with and try to understand is that with my hair texture, it's gonna take a little bit longer. I was told to find my location herself. And a few other stylists who just decided to comment on my hair in the shop is that um, with my hair texture, it's soft and it's fine. It's a lot of it, but it's soft and fine and it's curly. My hair is gonna take longer than most to lock up. Sucks, I know, but that is what it is. I'm still gonna keep going for it. Um, I was told most people kind of lock up in one year. I'm being told it's gonna take my hair two years to fully lock up. So that sucks a little bit. We're gonna still keep rocking with it though. I'm not gonna stop just because of that. It's not gonna deter me from getting the all that I can out of this whole journey. So we're gonna stick to it. Um, I'm really getting into it though. Like when people say that they wish they would have started sooner. I, I, I completely 100% understand where they're coming from. I'm loving it so far. I mean, yes, my hair unravels quickly. Like I'm probably gonna have to get my hair retwisted more often than most in the beginning. And I have to be mindful that the retwisting could possibly thin out my hair and I have to be extra careful with like keeping it moisturized and all of that stuff because of frequent, re frequent retwisting, sorry. But I'm fine with that. I just love how I feel with them. I feel so cute right now. Even though it's Saturday morning, I haven't done anything but just put on this shirt and tried to doll myself up. Just very little for this video, not too much. But I just feel like I look younger with them. I feel cute with them. Like, I don't know. It's just something about them that gives me just a little bit more confidence. Um, I was saying earlier that I have now 130 something locks. And I know, I know, I know in my other video, I did all that talking about, I think I want to resize them. I want them smaller. It's definitely a process because guess what? Now I'm reconsidering the resize that I did. And I know that's so crazy because I was so gung ho and my husband is going to be like, I told you. He told me in the beginning, the very first time that I had him done was just, it was perfect. I should have left it alone and had rocked me back. But I had in my mind this ideal of just small locks, just one smaller locks. Not sister locks, not micro locks, because I don't have the patience for that. But um, just had a smaller locks. And I, I did it. I had him re resize them. That's not anybody's fault but mine. And like, yes, I like how they look. But as I kind of, as the days went by of after the second retwist, I was like, man, I shouldn't have touched him. I should not have had him change anything. And I'm kind of getting more confirmation of that I should have left him alone because the lady that's doing my hair now was kind of like, mm, you know, with your hair texture, it probably would have been better to go a little bit bigger. And so with me only being almost three months locked, I have kind of made the decision, dramatic effect, to comb them out. Yes, I think I am going to comb them out and restart. I know that I, I mean, right now at this point, I don't think it's really gonna make too much of a difference. I'm gonna lose the, some of the hair, of course. I'm gonna hear that got caught and matted up that should have shed it out. I'll comb them out with some conditioner and um, just restart. Um, this is all I can really say is that I think it's time that I give it a second chance. When my lady who was doing my hair, my new current loctician, was um, looking at my hair, I'm just gonna take it down. She was in agreement that um, agreement that I should possibly just go ahead and take down maybe just this front part because when I had them re resized, I lost my middle part, and that really doesn't matter because uh, you know. I'm, when I get to retwisting my own hair, which will happen, I will start maintaining my own hair when I get more mature. The, the patterns, the the parting will disappear. I'm not gonna keep it 100% perfect. So, but for right now, while I'm paying to get them maintained, I think I want to have that uniformity, that that nice pattern parting system. So I am going to possibly, if I don't comb the whole thing down, I'm at least gonna comb out my crown area because if you can see, they are quite skinny. Now, the parts kind of indicate what your size lock will be, and I truly just feel like they probably need to be just a smidge bigger. Like right now, even while I'm talking to you, I'm really feeling how they look. And all they wear was a face buff, and I just thought they were, this is so cute on me. But I am probably more likely than not going to comb out and restart. Which is gonna be a little bit more money because now I have to pay again for the whole starter uh, pricing thing, but it is what it is. 
Um, that's pretty much it. A uh, couple of negatives that I'm like not really feeling as I'm going through this is that it is super hard to find like a really good lactation. Like the lady I'm with now, really love her work. It's very clean, crisp. The guy before was also, but I love working with him just because it was a little expensive for me. It was further away from my home than I, I preferred. And uh, there were no weekend hours. He had evening hours, but I was like, I couldn't, my hair at minimum takes at least four hours, three or four hours to get a washed, dried, or, well, washed, retwist, then dried, and you know, on, sit back on my way. And that's a lot of time after work on a Monday through a Friday, if you don't have weekend hours. Weekend hours, that's a lot. And then I have kids and I have to get them ready for the next day. I have to get myself ready for the next day. So four hours after work when I get off at four o'clock, it's just not really feasible for me. Because it's always something that kind of delayed it and I was in there, you know, being there a little later. So then I moved on to the next lady and kind of the same thing. You know, she only has Monday through Friday. And I think her last appointment is at three. So I'm having to, and I hope my job ain't looking. I'm having to sneak out to get to get my hair retwisted. And this is closer, so it's easier to get to, but I can't keep sneaking out of work or making excuses or taking off days to go get my hair done. It just doesn't make sense. So I am thinking that if I comb these out 100%, I may just have to find somebody who has easier availability, like some weekend hours. And it sucks that I'm having to have so many people put their hands in my head. But this is all just growing pains. And I am just going to have to find who works best for me. So that's just my two cents on that. When picking that stylist, when you get your locks done, just make sure it's somebody who is compatible to what you can do. If you can only get your hair retwisted on the weekends, try to find somebody who is good but has weekend hours. I don't know what's going on when you're not doing weekend hours no more. Like y'all know, these lock these stylists overall, not just lactation, stylists are getting out of their bodies with all these rules and restrictions. And I get that they're there for a reason. They, they ain't even following all the rules and damn sense. So that's a whole nother story, a whole nother topic. I'm not even gonna get into that, but that is it. I am two and a half months in to my lock journey. I am possibly gonna comb them out and restart. That is not something that I planned on doing, but hey, it is just a part of it, you know? I, I've seen people say that they have, you know, combed their hair out a couple of times before they got to where they really wanted to be with their lives. And it's all a process. I know it's all a journey. So we're going to try our best to, to figure it out so I don't have to keep messing with my hair so much and, and, and stressing it through combing it out, retwisting, combing and retwisting. I'm trying to get this done how I want it. That's all. That's all of my update for my two i'll include clips and videos of what my hair is looking like i am loving it and i'm gonna keep loving it even if i restart i just thank you guys so much for watching i thank you so much for tuning into any video that i've posted to you to like subscribe share comment all of those wonderful things and until next time see you